What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, and guys, we got another video for you. And today, in this one, um, drop 10k in the comments for a chance of 10k. If the video hits 40 likes, like the video and subscribe as usual, guys. The support's been awesome. Getting another 11 subs yesterday. We are going well. And guys, we got a stream right after this. Stay tuned for that. Stream directly after I post this video. So. That's lit. And this one, I'm going to be talking about the auction and the market crash and what happened with it and whatnot and what you guys should do. So let's talk market. All right. Whew. Let's go. So this is my team before we get into it. This is the team I'll be streaming with. It's pretty It's pretty good. It's not the best, but I like it. It plays amazing, to be honest. Um, This is my... Whoa, the Grom's edge is down. That's weird. Okay. But everyone else is looking nice. Chapman at the closer, down Batantis. All right, all right, we got 16k stuff. So, the auction crash. I'm gonna tell you what went down, what went up, and what you should do. So, with what said, this is what I think you guys should do. I think you guys should keep your players. I no, honestly, I think you should sell your team if you don't have stubs and get as many investment cards as you can. And what I mean by this is what player, how players performed, okay. So right now, my okay, but first but before I get into how players perform, these cards, these two cards that were in packs last week went up a lot. T Tatis went up 8k, Aloya Menez went up like 4 or 5k. So that's lit. I have Menez. I'm I'm keeping him because he's a beast and I'm waiting until he goes up more. So yes, the ap the update is supposedly April 19th. We'll see how that goes. I think it is. So let's go. Okay, so players that you should invest in right now. I would say DeGrom, right now, right now, because his edge is down, invest in him. He's going to pitch a gem like usual. But the players that you need to invest in 100% are a lot of gold players. For instance, Cody Bell. Okay, I'll tell you my top five investments right now. I would say Cody Bellinger on the Dodgers. Let's get to him. Let's just type in these players. These are my top five investments for the week. Top five investments. Bellinger right here. 9k i want to invest in him but i feel like he's way too high and i feel like when he turns into a diamond the auction's gonna literally stay at that price so bellinger he's a little too expensive to snell i need to pick him up right now snell right i'm picking him up right now his edge is down i'm yo he's gonna be a diamond no doubt he pitched another gem yesterday unbelievable he's pitching complete gems every freaking game another one mr steroids over here mr mets fan pete alonzo Holy crap, this guy's a beast. He just keeps hitting dingers. It's unbelievable how good he is. I'm so shocked as a Mets fan because every rookie we have sucks. But yes, that's another one. Another one we got. We got Mr. Vogelback. And yes, this is going off stats. Vogelback right here. I'm picking him up. He's going to go. I'm going to invest some meds in him because he's going to go up to a silver in no time. Guys, believe me, this is this is literally the best way to make stubs every single year. Off investments, you'll make 5k quick. I already got that Pete Daddy, Mr. Pete Alonso. Who else is doing good? Let me think. You know what? Let me get my phone. Hold up. Back. All right. Let's see. I'm going through the fantasy rankings right now to see who we can pick up. Let's go. All players. Last 14 days total. Okay, so Rendon is rank one. But isn't he diamond? Or is he gold? No, he's gold, I think. Is he diamond? I don't know. No, Rendon's not. Oh my god, Rendon's diamond. So he might go up in overall. Oh, Dem how can I forget about Domingo Santana? This guy's on fire. He got traded. And he's playing like a beast. Domingo Santana. I oh, want him too. I'm definitely getting him. He's going to be a silver in no time easily a silver we got oh austin meadows what he broke out oh my god austin meadows broke out i guess got the domingo santana austin meadows wow he broke out big time can he jump to a silver from this i don't know he could i guess let's go mancini is on fire conforto is on fire so Conforto, he's almost a gold, correct? Where is he? What? I guess I gotta type more than even. Con four. 
Conforto's on a tear. He's already a silver. He could be a gold in no time. He is. Let's 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 just. He's in, he's doing amazing. That's another one. We got a. Oh my God. Alex Gordon is finally doing good. Wow, that's that's mind-boggling. Alex Gordon hasn't been good in like five years. So Alex Gordon's a good pickup for this roster update. Alex Gordon, you can see all these players that I'm showing you are going up in price. Surprised he didn't go up. Interesting. That's a that's a snag right there. I'm gonna pick up a bunch of these. Uh, Yandy Diaz, another good pickup. Who else we got? Yasmani Grandal's doing good. What? Wow. Mitch Hanniger, as per usual, is always a good pickup, man. Whit Merrifield's a very good pickup. Uh, Marcus Simeon. Okay, I think that's how you say his name. Another great pickup. He's tearing it apart in the majors. Let's see. Oh, he's kind of expensive. Okay. That's a good price gap, though. I'm picking him up. Four, four, nine. Price gaps are key, man. Mr. Bell? Josh Bell is doing good. Wow. Oh my god, he's cheap too. I'm picking him up. So all these players that I'm showing you are literally not only are like they're my opinions, they're literally based off stats. Like it's straight up stats. Like I'm not bullshitting you guys. Missed oh my god, low. Freddie Galvis is on a tear too, out of nowhere. Some of these players are just coming out of nowhere. This is crazy. All these trades are working out for these new players. Freddie and his edge is down. I would go pick up this card right now. So with this market crash, not only does it help this, it's lit. It, it helps everything. It, it makes these bronze cards go down in value, and it's literally lit. So yeah, we're just going to keep going around, see if there's any more decent investments that I could go over. Let's see. We got Kevin Pilar and Gurriel. Pilar over here. We got Bell too. Pilar. He's, a, he's up a little bit. He's doing good. He's already a silver, though. I'm not going to invest in him. I don't think he's going to be that good. Oh, I got Gary Sanchez. He's on the DL? Oh, that's so freaking botch. Gary Sanchez on the DL. Oh, that's so botch. Damn it. I'm selling him right now. I can't keep him or I'll lose mad stubs. Nope, not doing that. That sucks. All right, Gary Sanchez on the DL. Did not know that. Uh, Dansby Swanson is doing good too. What is going on? All these rookies are starting to show up. Dansby Swanson, man. He's doing good. That's a quick grab right there. Maybe he'll be a goal this year if he keeps it up. That nice, was he, first round draft pick? Matt Chapman's always a good pickup. I'm going to go over to him. I'm going to pick up a couple of his. Did I get Snell yet? We need Snell, bad. We need Snell. He's literally got. He's goaded. He's unbelievable. Let's see. I need to get this Snell. Like, I, I can't be playing around, though. Yo, I don't care. Frig it. I need that Snell, bad. I'm not playing around. Matt Chapman. Nick Ahmed. Another good one. Got another Nansby. Hold on. I did. I did. Yesterday, two days ago. I sent it to him. Sorry, guys, for that. Okay, so let's see. We got um, Nick Ahmed. Pretty good price gap again. Putting a buy order on him as we speak. And, guys, all these bronzes, like all these, per these are perfect ways to make stubs because, okay, no, nah, I'm going more Pete Alonzo's. He's going to be a silver easily. He's tearing it up. He's literally on steroids, promise. Guys, this is the best way to make stubs because bronze cards, not only do people just quick sell them, they quick sell so fast. This is like literally one of my top ways to make stubs. Investments is the best way, in my opinion. Especially when you got have a guy like Pete Alonzo and Vogelback just completely tearing it up. It's so dope. Look, I got another Pete Alonzo. I was going to keep doing it. I don't care. I'm going to make stubs off this. Pete Alonzo is a goat. He's literally unbelievable. He just keeps hitting dingers. I don't see him stopping. I got the Marcus Simeon. This is a great day to make stubs. Just please follow my investment guide. It's literally the best way. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Believe me, these investment, these are correct, guys. These are based off fancy stats, literal stats in the MLB.
If you guys don't want to believe me, I don't care. But this is the best way to make stubs. On Friday is the roster update. Hold on to your players. Play with them a little bit. And guys, have a good one. Peace! Hey, yo,